gotta talk about something. In the new exclusive injured titan crate, obviously you can get all three of these super handsome titans. Not as handsome as me, of course. And I couldn't help but realize how good the Saw upgraded titan cameraman is. I mean, it's almost directly comparable to the upgraded titan cameraman. That is a thousand times harder to get. You just complete your quest a few couple times and you're good to go. So obviously the Saw is gonna be good. It's a solo nightmare mode? I mean, shoot, man. It's almost more accessible than the Frost DJ. And if you're someone that's new around here, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button. We're trying to get to 40k by the end of the month. Uh, but... One of the things I was wondering about the Saw upgraded Titan cameraman is both the hyper and the toxic have something unique about it. For example, the toxic Titan not only has like the projectile explosive range, which is crazy, but it also has the slowdown effect. And what's unique about the hyper upgraded Titan speaker man is that he has the second biggest bubble of area of effect damage out of all units in Toy Tower Defense. The only one that has a bigger bubble is none other than the Frost DJ himself, who didn't get nerfed this update, surprisingly. I wouldn't put my money on yes. Um, also, this is kind of embarrassing. Um, but I'm sure most of you guys know, not only is the Valentine's update coming out tomorrow, but Valentine's Day is, well, technically today. And I don't have a Valentine. Not, not that I definitely couldn't get one if I wanted to or anything. That's definitely, that's definitely not why. Okay, it is why. So I was wondering, would you be my Valentine? Would you fill my heart with that blood it hasn't felt in so long? That is if I had a heart. <laughs> I need to go to the doctor. The love doctor. Why shouldn't you trust a pastry chef on Valentine's Day? Because they'll desert you. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't keep myself together. That's one of the best jokes I've ever said in my entire life. Although I am dead, of course. All right, so obviously this video is about the Saw Upgraded Titan Cameraman and not about Valentine's Day. So we finally have enough to place him. So let's go ahead and do it. Obviously, once again, the goal is here is to solo nightmare mode. It's not to break any records. It's just to see if literally one of the easiest attainable units is strong enough to solo nightmare mode. Because then this should be the new unit you plan to add to your team. Like if you're new to the game. But honestly, I know everyone watching this video right now isn't a noob at all. I know all of you guys are some of the smartest to a tower defense players that have ever existed. Coming up with better strategies than me some of the times. So I will say one thing about the Saw upgraded Titan Cameraman so far. I didn't pay attention to it. Does he do area of effect damage or no? This is important. He does have a high damage per second. Higher than that of the Titan Drillman, which matters because the Titan Drillman cannot solo nightmare mode without any help. So this matters because if the Saw upgraded doesn't have any AoE, then we're screwed. Or yeah, we're just screwed. But I am noticing one thing that's super freaking sick. Okay, whenever toilets get close to him like within his white bubble he hits them with this freaking saw hand bro imagine being the toilet down the conveyor belt being like oh man i'm almost free and then you get cleaver like his cleaver is doing not that much damage i thought it'd be doing a lot more that's pretty mid speaking of mid some of these toilets are getting down pretty far on the conveyor belt i'm a little scared all right so let's go ahead and upgrade it one more time so now you've upgraded his range and now he looks a lot more upgraded titan cameraman like he just also has a saw so tech Technically, lore speaking, shouldn't the Saw Upgraded Titan Cameraman be better than the Upgraded Titan Cameraman? Obviously, for balancing purposes, he's he's not. But explain that to all the Toy Tower Defense lore guys. It has to be accurate, or I'm gonna complain about you on Reddit. He does have sun sun protection, um, but not that much. He decided to take a little bit of a nap. Okay, so a bunch of toilets are starting to overwhelm us a little bit. We can't upgrade him one more time. Okay, he is maxed out. So it looks like he does 6,800 total with 58 range with a cooldown of 0.2 seconds but it seems like everything is actively taking damage with inside of his like green or blue aura thing i can't speak but anything inside of this white bubble constantly gets attacked with the cleaver as well so after paying attention to this i think it's actually low-key broken because i don't think the saw is just an animation it's actually doing more damage and i know they're like hopeless what does that mean you're just saying words to say words dude no hear me out i'm pretty sure he's doing extra damage with the a little saw cleaver on his hand so when he's doing that extra damage he's also actively shooting them with the laser so like i'm saying he's effectively attacking twice like a double barrel shotgun trust me it it, it makes sense however that's something that doesn't really make sense that i don't like very much is these buzz saw toilets dude imagine having to place a saw upgraded titan cameraman back here just so you didn't die thankfully as of right now we're still not dead but we're not in a good spot 
We'll probably have to pause upgrading the economy for a little bit just so I can make sure I can upgrade these sub upgraded Titan camera me. And bop! Wait, I, is th that's the strangest thing ever. Upgrading them from four to five costs more than upgrading them from level five to six? I need to pay attention to the next time I place them down. That's one of the weirdest, most confusing and contemplating things contradictory I've ever seen. What the heck? So they're doing pretty okay-ish so far. They could definitely be doing better. But one thing I've noticed with this team build so far is they could definitely benefit from a speaker repair drone. I don't have any speaker at all. Okay, pay attention. So I'm going from level four to five. We all agree, right? It costs 8,000. Oh, yeah, I don't have enough. Hold on, I'm broke. And I'm no longer broke. So this costs 8,000? Yes. Okay, they did do that. I, my eyes were not deceiving me. If I had eyes. <laughs> but for some strange reason, they made that upgrade cheaper. I don't know why, considering it's actually a better upgrade overall. But hey, I'm not a toy tower defense dev. So on wave 34, uh, I think a lot of people could agree. Why does it look like he's holding a baby? The welder was holding that parasite. It, it did not look right. Something looked wrong. But I definitely don't like how far some of these toilets have made it down the conveyor belt. Also, fun fact, I was today's years old when I found out you can only place three green laser cameramen. I thought you could place at least 10. Uh, you can't, so. Okay, so currently we have four of them fully maxed out and seven of them placed. Typically, wave 40 is usually the telltale wave to decide and to kind of decipher how strong your team actually is. As in, if it's strong enough to beat Nightmare Mode. And considering how far down the conveyor belt some of these toilets are getting, it's not looking great. This is typically a common trend of units that don't do area of damage because they're not able to attack all of these toilets at one time, making it so that there's massive cloggage and, as you can tell, imminent doom. At this stage and point of the game, I don't really know if there's anything my units could do to potentially salvage this. This would be the biggest comeback of 2024 if they're able to survive this. I mean, I'm upgrading this guy in the back as much as I can. They're gonna try to do this work on the Strider, but I think it's a uh, Jehovah's Witness. Oh yeah, I think they might barely kill the strider and then the giant dual blade is just gonna kill me and three two one pop i'm not dead oh, i'm dead great so kind of as expected and i guess kind of what i was hoping the saw upgraded titan cameraman can't actually solo nightmare mode it would be kind of silly if it could mainly because the utc can barely just barely squeak by on nightmare mode. however that is gonna be all the time that i have for you guys today thank you guys so much for watching i'm gonna be super busy with valentine's day tomorrow but if you haven't already check definitely check out the video that i posted earlier today and if not, no worries. But do consider dropping a like and a subscribe so you can become a part of Hopeless Nace. Consider clicking that join button down below to get a free unit for me from the post office. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Goodbye. Oh, it's hopeless. Oh, it's hopeless. Trying to get partner in TTD, but they don't want to give it to me. I spent all my money on units and robux you know i want the best units i'm gonna put in the work i'ma put it in the paint you know what i'm saying player then i go around find the best units put them to the test show them who's best flexing on the boys that don't got my best gonna sign units once upon a time i know that i will never rest until the day happens thank you for watching i love you